Step back in time and immerse yourself in the charm and nostalgia of the 1940s at the West Somerset Railway's annual 40s weekend. This enchanting event invites visitors to experience a vibrant celebration of wartime Britain, complete with vintage trains, period costumes and a lively atmosphere that captures the essence of an era marked by resilience and unity. Coming up, we ride the train to Minehead and take a stroll along the promenade. We explore the charming harbour town of Watchit and visit its fascinating radio museum. We ride the beautifully restored railway and admire the stunning Somerset countryside and coast. Whether you're a history buff, a railway enthusiast or simply looking for a unique weekend getaway, the 1940s weekend promises an unforgettable journey through time. We're starting this guide in Minehead's Vintage Railway Station. Built in the late 19th century, it is a charming glimpse into the golden age of rail travel. The sound of steam engines and the aroma of coal smoke fill the air, evoking a sense of nostalgia. We were so excited to board our first train and, luckily for me, the ticket inspector was very friendly. Embarking on a train along the West Somerset Railway is like stepping into a living postcard of the English countryside. As you settle into your vintage carriage, the gentle rhythm of the steam engine begins to take you on a journey through time and nature. On the journey, you'll be captivated by the sights as the train winds its way through lush green fields and each bend in the track reveals breathtaking vistas of the Somerset coast and landscape. Good morning. 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 Which way are we going? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's that. Minehead Station is a hub of activity where costumed reenactors and lively performances bring the 1940s to life. The period signage is just one of the many details that transports visitors back in time. We stopped in Minehead for a bacon butty and a cup of tea before taking a stroll along its promenade with stunning views. It was wonderful to meet others who came dressed up for the occasion and to see them enjoying a stroll along the promenade. One of our favourite things about the day was the many conversations we enjoyed with strangers. Minehead is a picturesque seaside town nestled on the edge of the Bristol Channel. It's definitely worth taking a look around, especially on a beautiful day. Operator. 
operator, connect me to St Mary Mead 35. Back on the train, we're now heading to watch it. As the train rolls through the countryside, you can admire the beautiful coast and charming stations. Our final stop was Watch It. The train station was originally opened in the 1870s. Entertainment was in full swing all day. Honey boys, that the charity could chit you. Right on track 29. There was an interesting display exhibiting artefacts of a bygone era. I can afford to ride the channel in the Oh, I got my face. A walk into the town is essential. It was bursting with vintage vehicles and reenactors. When the press stopped and cross, boy, that's why the lady sees a tramp, not you, miss. I think that's true. Press. Wind in my hair, I just don't care. Oh, the Lord, word by the way. Speak to the baby. <laughs> The town itself boasts a rich maritime history and a picturesque harbour. Vehicles lined the market square, and the selection of treats and vintage wares available was a shopper's paradise. Why should we spend money on show or two when no one sings those love songs exactly like you? You made me feel so grand, and I want to give this world to you. You seem to understand. was filled with the uplifting sounds of 1940s singers and the streets were full of joy. I am so glad that we visited the Radio Museum. It is a fascinating tribute to the evolution of communication and broadcasting and showcases an extensive collection of vintage radios, broadcasting equipment and memorabilia that spans several decades of radio history. My people at home. Then some of the bigger boys had to be restrained from playing cricket in the corridor. You are about to hear our news in English. For the purpose of press trading, they have made an unconditional surrender on behalf of his troops. 
We loved exploring Watch It and the enthusiasm of the small business owners, volunteers and locals was infectious. stop in the town was the Pebbles Tavern, where we reflected on our day out, which was nothing short of magical. Cheers. The West Somerset Railway 1940s weekend was not simply just an event. It really was a heartfelt journey through time and it rekindled a sense of wonder and appreciation for the past. I left full of joy, with memories that will last me a lifetime. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to everyone that was involved in organising the event. If you're enjoying the videos on my channel I'd love for you to join our growing community. By subscribing you'll be the first to know when I upload new videos filled with fantastic days out in England and beyond. Your support means the world to me and helps me share even more adventures. Just hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you never miss an update. Thank you so much for being part of this journey. I can't wait to share more with you.